what I haven't spoken about my glasses have I I'm sure some of you have noticed the change in the glasses that I usually wear because usually when I do my podcast I have these um white uh what are they called again oh, I forgot the name of the fucking shape of the glasses I'll try to put up on the screen if I remember the name but regardless they're like a Kurt Cobain style um you know round glasses that I wear that have sort of like a white frame with black lenses and they've been doing me pretty you know they've been serving me pretty well or oh, they I think they called clout glasses clout goggles i think at the time because when they were sort of really popular was what 2015 right that kind of playboy car era they kind of called them clout glasses because people just wear them for the sake of wearing them um because they were cool and trendy and people wanted to pretend like they were into flipping nirvana and whatnot but then over time you know other things kind of took over and i just kind of wear them to be kind of ironically silly because they're ridiculously lame and they're not the coolest thing to wear anymore but i just think it's quite funny for me to sit on here criticizing things in culture calling out things saying this is crap saying this is good when i've got the most uh basic bitch kind of glasses on that you know of all time so whatever now i've got another pair of glasses that are probably a little bit more on point with what's going on nowadays in fashion with the whole like y2k trend and these are essentially a copy of the of, of a pair of Balenciaga glasses. i'm not sure what the name of them actually are but i actually plan to hopefully get a legit pair of these Balenciaga glasses when i eventually do get paid but this is essentially like a copy of them in order to see if they fit my face because I have a very round face, even when I was really, really skinny. My face doesn't really hollow out as much as I'd like it to. I would I would like more aggressive flipping cheekbones, like a flipping ID or Vice or, you know, Days Magazine kind of model. But unfortunately, that's not in my nature. It just doesn't happen to me. It gets more obviously square, but it just doesn't suck in as much as I want it to suck in. But anyway, we move. Um, imagine they had a surgery where they can make you have like sucked in things. I remember that'll be mad, isn't it? Uh, maybe they just exaggerate the cheekbones, but I don't think they can make it go indent. It eh, doesn't matter. Um, moving on. So when it comes to glasses, my number one, my face is really round. And number one, I have a really big, but also a small face. I think this this bit is small, but for some reason, my the radius of my head is huge. Uh, <laughs> so not all glasses suit me. Like for instance, um, wafers, right? Typical Ray-Ban wafers, right? They just don't fit me. I wish they could look good on me. I remember seeing Casey Neistat's early vlogs and him wearing a pair and doing that whole spray paint thing that he does when he scratches off the paint on the front and it looks sick. And I really want that for me. But when I put them on, they just don't suit my face, unfortunately. So I have to kind of get really big kind of framed glasses and fortunately for me the late in the recent years it felt like everybody was making like oversized glasses like glasses that were just kind of you know three percent bigger taking a virtual blur kind of three percent rule they kind of made them a little bit bigger um and that kind of grandiose sort of like hollywood that kind of like hollywood anti-paparazzi sort of frame came in where you can kind of hide behind these massive shields on your face so that kind of helped but when i saw these glasses i thought oh these are a little bit more i would say in the style of like an oakley right a little bit more of an action sort of like you know ready to run ready to flip in jump on the latest bus to go to the trendiest area to go into the shop and buy the whatever drink everyone buys and at the moment and go and dance side to side you know I mean? they, they look a little bit fast so you imagine these kind of fast wraparound glasses wouldn't necessarily fit me or suit me but i think judging by what can i see on the mirror and stuff they suit me pretty well they look pretty decent not the most amazing in the world but for what they are for them being like a pair of what three dollar fifty or four dollars um copies from aliexpress they're pretty decent in terms of getting the look across and now they make me a lot more confident when i want to then go out and buy the actual legit pairs from balenciaga which i'm definitely going to get because i want the other colors because as much as i like the silver color and i got another pair also i got this pair where is it Yeah, I've got these. So I've got this one. This is sort of kind of like an Oakley style kind of glasses. And then I've got these ones also that I want to show you. That I got too. So I've got these these off. And then I've got these. These kind of more wrapper. These ones I think most of you have kind of seen people wearing these sort of glasses. So what do you kind of what do you guys think of these sunglasses? This whole Y two K trend, um, which obviously is a nod to you know the early two thousands fashion. Um, think of you know von Dutch studded belts, um, you know baggy jeans, small t shirts, almost crop top style. Uh, think of very kind of a cut and paste sort of like tattoos think of really trashy euro trash type of music um think of loads of lights loads of colors think of that kind of stuff right and this is where you kind of get so i want you guys to let me know in the comments below what do you think of this trend do you think it looks redacted do you think it looks cool 
um, would you actually wear them yourself? And again, I actually put the link in the description if you want to get a pair of these yourself. But they're they're fairly decent in terms of getting you the look. But again, the the real is better than the fake. So I'll definitely end up getting the the legit pair to kind of see how they work. But for somebody who kind of finds it very difficult to get some decent kind of sunglasses for themselves, I'm really kind of happy with how these look. So yeah, not not complaining.